Hello, Magic the Gathering lovers. Matt here from Total MTG. And it's Tuesday, which means another video. Video, just in case you don't know, come out Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays every week, 4 p.m. GMT. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. So, what am I playing on Arena today? I am playing a little build I made, Naya Guild Pact. All based around Glass of the Guild Pact. Such a cool card. Two mana, multicolored creatures you control get plus one, one. So, what goes well with multicolored creatures? Hero of Precinct 1. Whenever you cast a multicolor spell, create a 1-1 one, one white human creature token. Now, why this doesn't obviously interact with Glass of the Guild Pact, we need other ways around to win games and potentially spamming loads of white human creature tokens. It's another good way to win as well, because this is the, uh, you know, we've got four of these in the main deck, and as you can see, everything else is multicolored. So that's all going to work very well with Hero of Precinct 1, and all the multicolored creatures are going to work very well with Glass of the Guild Pact. So it's basically like a Naya Aggro type of build. We've got Zootar Goblin there, 2-2 two, two with Riot. Swift Blade Vindicator, Double Strike Vigilance, Trample, and obviously if you've got multiple Glass of the Guild Packs on the field, this gets pretty, pretty crazy, let me tell you. And if it comes down, we've got a little Rhythm of the Wild there. Creatures you spell can't be counters and non-token creatures you control have Riot. We'll be getting extra, extra Riot triggers with some of our creatures. Removal, we've got Lava Call there. We've also got Justice Strike that is definitely becoming one of my favourite, favourite removal spells in Standard at the moment. This Gruul Spellbreaker is definitely a great, great creature. Total tempo, Riot Trample. If you've got the Rhythm on there as well, double Riot, really good. Give it the counter, then give it the haste as well. Smashing in for a lot of damage. Has Hexproof on your turn as well. Tajik's there, haste, mental, prevent all non-combat damage that would be dealt to creatures you control. Really sweet effect. Can also give it first strike as well. 3-2 with haste. Put down with right, get it's already got the hasty, put the counter on, attacking for four three, mentoring another creature as well. As two, I can't even never, I can never pronounce this one. My words are definitely not coming out right today. At Zokan Seer, two three, add one mana of any colours. We are Naya, although we've got the nice lands for this. This it does help as well. And we can sacrifice it, return target dinosaur card from the graveyard, but we're not gonna be doing that. <laughs> not doing that at all. But we've got Knight of Autumn there as well. 2-1. Destroy Artifact Enchantment. Gain for life. Put counters on. Very, very good. Unbreakable Formation. Just in case we need a little bit of help there. Unbreakable Formation is there to make things indestructible. Perhaps get the final bit of damage through. And then we've got more creatures here as well. Grand Warlord Radar. That can add mana when it attacks for all the creatures you're doing. This is a really sweet card. Potentially up in this to two just because it's really, really cool. Aurelia, flying, a little bit of help with flying, has mentor. You can see the theme of this deck, mentor, right, multicolored, spamming creatures, getting aggro. It's really, really cool. Don Rees there, goes very well in a right type of deck. Nice card, I like it. Comes with five mana, so it automatically goes to six. So it's a little bit harder to kill straight away if, it, you know, if the opponents are attacking him with something. And the Trostani. Other creatures you control get plus one one. So we'll pump all creatures, including the Hero of Precinct 1 spamming token effect as well. And we can gain creatures back if anyone tries to nick them with anything. Because some of those little mass manipulation cards, you know, they're pretty uh, prominent in Arena at the moment. And the last card in the main is Thrash and Threat. Creating Beast, very nice. Will trigger with Hero of Precinct 1 as well. And then potentially, as it's a red and green beast, can be punched with Glass of Guild Pact. Or Thrash, target creature you control deals damage equal to power to target creature or planeswalker. Just the basic lands, you know, root bone crab, stomach ground, all the colours that sort of mix for Naya. Very, very handy. This is Naya Guild Pact. I've been wanting to build around Glass of the Guild Pact for a while. Let's give it some games, put it in our best of one, and then see if it will be worthy for another video. Potentially going to climb the ladder with. Let's see how the deck fares. So here we are. Open in hand, Temple. We've got the lands there. Precinct, Spellbreaker, Spellbreaker. This is a very good hand for us. Let's hope it's let's hope it goes well. So we will lead off with Temple Garden, of course. Enters tapped. So what are we playing? First game of the day. Of course. It could be. And should be mono red. Right. So dangerous playing this, but you know. We're not going to hang about. We've got Spellbreaker, Spellbreaker to come down as well. This could meet a shock, as it normally does when you play at turn two. And on cue, 
There is the shock. The shock is there. Right. Uh, we're going to have to take two life here. Pay two life. Uh, do want to get hasty, but then it does meet a lot. I'm going to put a counter on this one. 4-4. Four, four. Has to meet a lava coil. Stays out of the way of lightning strike. Has to meet a lava coil. And on cue again, it hits a lava coil. Right. Have you got another lava coil? We're not getting very aggro to start off. Opponent has removal, removal. But we will wait and see. We've got our unbreakable formation there ready for the next turn. We'll probably be creating a... Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Okay. Let's attack him. Eventually, we get to start the pain. There we go. Right. Uh, we will play a Temple Garden. Enter tapped. Play a Knight of Autumn. Put some counters on it. 4-3. We want our guild pack now. Let's get this and get them pumping. That's what we want. Rekindling Phoenix. Yeah, bit of a problem. Bit of a problem. Recurring. We could do with R. Uh, what are we going to do? Target just does damage to target. I mean, that's not bad. We could get rid of the Phoenix. And then attack in. Um, or we could just keep making threats. Actually, what I like doing... What I like doing is putting this on. Hoping they block with Rekindling Phoenix. Attack in. And if they do, we got Thrash there. To deal with the token. Okay. Very nice. Very nice. Pwn down to 11. That comes in. That will resolve. Boom! That's a way to get rid of a token of a rekindling phoenix. Let's hope they don't draw another one. Opponent down to 11. We're on 18. We've got two big, huge creatures there. Big 5-4 knight and the spellbreaker as well as a 5-5. Five five. We've got Seer to come down. I'm going to call it Seer because that first name is just a bit annoying to pronounce. Um, we will attack all in. Let's go. Opponent blocks. R55. Five five. Well, it's got a hexproof in our turn, so they won't be doing a shock or anything like that. Oh, well, that works. <laughs> that works as well. Still. And end turn. Thrashing Bronte's on holding the fort for our opponent, Dara Rin. We're still on a healthy life total. Uh, we haven't really got as aggro as we've got. You know, they did get rid of two creatures very early on. But that's what you've got to do because, you know, Spellbreakers, Knight of Autumns are harder to deal with as well. Knight of the Stampede. Okay, something sweet, not another land. Um, bum, 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 bum. Question is, do we attack in? We trade off, but then we're left with a 2-3. We only get to kill one creature. Probably best just to hold off at the moment. Unfortunately, we've hit a bit of a slump at the moment. Drawing those double lands has not helped us at all. Domri. That will help our opponent. Especially if they manage to get another creature down. Tap for the red. Could be on the same sort of aggro-y sort of plan. Nothing. Well, that's a lot. That's not too bad for us. This comes down with haste. Uh, all out attack to our opponent. Put Mentor. There we go. Prevent all non-combat damage that would be dealt to creatures this turn. We can give this first strike as well. But we're going in. We've got to keep the pressure up. We have to keep the pressure up. This will put opponent to one. 
Okay, down to one. Down to one. Down to one. Come on, we just need that last bit of damage to get the first game underway with a win. Put that W in the box. A bit worrying an opponent has three cards in hand and could spam loads of creatures on the board. And that is one hell of a creature. That could... Oh, my life. Well, that last bit of damage. Hero 3 sit one comes down. So we're going to have to try and go wide. If we can draw some cards. We're in a very bad position now. We've been out aggroed. It's all hindsight, but, you know, if I maybe attacked with one of the other creatures instead of... Yeah, the Spellbreaker at the start, but you just never know. Vivian Reed. Oh, dear. It's going from bad to worse in this first game now. One damage left. One freaking damage. The wilds are my shield. We just need to get ahead on creatures, but it's going to be really hard with the two Planeswalkers they got. Dire Fleet. Oh, no. You know, Classic Cards even spend mana, but they haven't got the mana, so... They do need mana for it. Okay, just fold. Okay. Hmm. Well, the creatures have got bigger. That's about it. We are still down two creatures. We really, really need either our own Domri where we can pull two creatures. Okay. That's the emblem. That probably means GG's to Dara in there. Okay, Rind of the Wild. Plus that, more creatures. And it's a rip draw. I'm going to see what I draw, but this is game one. This is game one, done. Match one. Yeah, yeah. There's nothing we can draw. Okay. I mean, we spam. We spam token. We got this coming down. Put a counter on. I mean, I probably should give up, shouldn't I? No attacks. I mean, possibly if we draw a flyer, though. End turn. They make another 4-4. If this just becomes a Mexican standoff, I, I can't have another long match like we did on the previous video. Because I just they're literally going to make these indestructible and then that's it. One ball draw. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to waste everyone's time. That is a GG's for our opponent. We got out aggro there. Maybe I was a little bit, you know, not aggro enough at the start. Possibly. Right, here we go for match number two. Maybe it was a bit apprehensive on that first one. Uh, no green mana, which is a bit of a problem, but we got two lands. Gilpat, that. We go first. If we draw green mana, God, we're, we're flipping laughing. I'm going to keep it, you know. Slightly dodge hand. I do keep dodgy hands. Would you have kept this hand? Match two, let me know. Oh, that was a bit of luck. That is a bit of luck. Um, we will play that. Play our glass of the guild pack. Past turn. We'll come down next turn with a Rhythm of the Wild. Oh, God. I can see the way the game's going this morning already. Bye-bye, Rhythm. Bye-bye, Rhythm. Come on, stay. Get rid of a creature. No, of course not. Right, top draw Rhythm. Here we go. No, no chance. Right. Um, here we go. Bit of haste. Playing control. We want to get aggro straight away down now. That thought erasure hurts. That really hurt thought erasure. Attack in. 
Oh, comes down. Lovely. Double strike in Swift Blade. <laughs> God, dear. I think you can see the salt on this game today. You will see. Let's play Hero. Maybe, you know, I mean, aggro decks don't do too bad. There's a lot of tempo decks around. Oh, damn you. Pee off with your thought erasure. We're playing fair magic here. We just want to bundle loads of creatures on the battlefield and just attack. Yeah, thought erasure. There it goes. Oh, justice strike. Interesting. Interesting. Token. And all out attack. Enters tapped. Well, opposed to 12. If we meet another Raph here, we're basically dead and buried, I think. Ritual of Suit, very good against our deck. Maybe we have to bring in more Unbreakables. You know, maybe that is a thing we need to do. Okay, that is a great draw. Let's pump them up again. Let's pump them up. Attack for six. Opponent will be blocking. There we go. No point in attacking in there. I mean, they probably would have... Well, no, they would have blocked a hero, wouldn't they? That is our token spammer. We're hoping that they really don't have another mass removal spell. Then we could definitely get a bit of aggro here. Seer can come down next turn. Spawn of Mayhem. Not too worried about that. This comes down. Make another one. Um... Let's attack in. Attack him with a little 1-1, one -one, just in case they want to block. Yep. Oh, that's not too bad for us. Down to seven. Spawn of Mayhem does its damage to him, which is what I really, really do like. Many opponent has died from that. Ah, oh, damn you. Damn you. Right. Oh, precinct. Nice. Played that completely the wrong way around. No attacks. Damage from the spawn. Does become a 6-6, six, six, but we got a lot of creatures right now. If we can just survive a non raf I played that the wrong way around. Sorry about that. It's because I wasn't actually going to play the hero. And then decided that I would. Twilight Prophet. Okay. Lava Coil is lovely. Get rid of Twilight. Let's attack with the team. That was an absolutely epic top draw there. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Bang, 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 bang. And we win match two. Whew. Got away around a thought rage there. Let's get on to another game. So before we get into another game, I got a pack. Let's open a pack, shall we? Here we go. Ravnica Allegiance pack. Something shiny. It is a Dovan. Oh, that was a cracking little pull there. Very, very happy with that one. Let's get on to another match. So, match three. Couple of guild packs. We've got the lands that we need. And a hero. Did you know? Kept a slight dodge hand last time. I think this is hand is okay to keep. We are playing a Lovisa. Memorial to Folly. Okay. Enters tapped. We got a couple of guild packs. We can play our hero next turn. Ah, the colour I didn't want to see. Right. Let's see. Have they got the removal? Well, no, didn't have removal straight away. Which did help us. Okay, double red, black. What are we playing? Come on, obviously we know it's Rakdos at the moment. Captain Lattery enters the battlefield. No blocks. We'll probably be Lava Coil in that. Or we we leave the threat. Oh, another land. Jeez. Um, pay two live. Kill the Lattery with the Lava. Because we don't want to spam in loads of these tokens. Yep, it's going to die. Whoa, they do actually have one mana. What could they have? 
dive down. Tapping it for blue. Right. Precinct does some damage, which it very rarely does by itself. Any ideas for this deck, make sure you hit them in the comments. And if you are new, just hit the subscribe button. It really does help the channel out. Uh, we definitely need to draw a bit more action here. We've got a Thrasher. We can spam one token. We will be able to play a 4-4 token. Red-green, which won't be too bad. Vampire Sovereign. That's a card. That is a card. Right. Um, what do we want to do? We need to play this. Spam a token. Give it a counter. Uh, we will play that. Enter tab because we do need... That is going to be a big blocker for us. Uh, we've got Thrash that we can play. Deal with that Vampire Sovereign. So what is it? Vamps, maybe? I've just noticed our opponent has a 70... Well, God knows what size card deck. So... Oh, jeez. That really hurt. We're down to 10 life. Jeez. Right. We need to be able to deal with this somehow. Um, right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's play Swift Blade. Play Glass of the Gill Pact. Enter tapped. Get some damage in. We really need Swift Blade to sort of stay alive, but we've got to be a bit careful of this because, you know, attacking us for three. It's four turns. They've got a lot of mana there. And they're running Banefire. Oh, dear. Right. Double Strike. Thrash. I'm assuming the Double Strike works because it is Tug Creature Control. No, it just deals damage, so that won't work. Deals damage. If they fought each other, it'd be a lot better for us. Wow. We could lose to this massive, massive card deck. Oh, that does absolutely nothing for us. Right. Is that a flyer? Spectacle against Death Touch. And they can give it Death Touch as well. Bit of a problem. Let's play a hero. Dear me. Cancel. Play another Gill Pact. Do you know what? I think we're in absolutely massive trouble here. <laughs> absolutely massive trouble. Let's attack in with our Swift Blade. Attack again. I mean, it depends what they got in hand, but, you know, this can get Death Touch. But we can block that. The Vampire Sovereign only needs two more attacks. We need to be able to pump up one more to be able to stop that, to be able to play Thrash. I mean, maybe I could have played Threat, but it didn't do anything because we wouldn't be able to fight them, which is a bit of a problem. Wow, this... We are struggling against this deck. Okay. Against okay, Death Touch... We just block there. Down to one. Down to one. Okay. In comes the burning tree vandal. And another burning tree vandal. What do we draw? Spellbreaker does n um No, we're a land short. We are a land short. Because we can play that, but we can't fight at the same time. That is the... Pro oh, no, 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 no. We can, we can. We've got the Gill Pact there, haven't we? We've got Gill Pact. What am I even talking about? Right, here we go. Spam, spam. Plus one, one counter. Spam tokens. Dead. Attack in with a 3-3 double. Maybe we would get out of this jankiness with a bit of luck, possibly. They've only got to draw a burn spell, though, then we're dead. And, of course... Oh, no, 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 no. They can play Memorial to Folly and get it back. 
Can they play it though? One, two, three. No, they can't play it. They can't play it as well. So they can sack, get it back, and then do the three life, then we lose. Um, which is a bit of a problem, obviously. So we potentially need to win next turn, which will be half. So they are, say they do that. Yet yeah, they're going to get get it back. They can't play it though. That is not what we wanted at all. At all is not what we wanted. Damn it! Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, fifteen. They block the six, but it does have trample. They just block there, 6, 7, 8, 13. Do we all win? Well, we're dead next turn anyway. Let's just go all in. We're dead next turn. I can't, I'm doing the maths here. They block that three. It does have trample. Do we still win? Oh my God, we got them to one. Sweet baby Jesus. Yeah, that was rough. Oh my God. That was a, that was a loss. That's all I'm going to say about that. That was a loss. So this is our opening hand. We've got the colours. We're going to keep. Not happy about that last loss. But one thing you will always know about me is that I will literally show you the games that I play. I wonder if there's any content creator out there that will just show the winning matches. <laughs> I wonder if they do. I've thought about it. No, I haven't. <laughs> but no, what I'm saying is I'll always show you. Whatever I'm doing, win or loss. Just because you hit a few losses doesn't mean the deck's bad. It just means you've had a bit. You know what the luck is on these games. Jeez. I've seen people draw eight lands on the trot. I've done it myself. Oh, can't say free bird where you get nothing. Absolutely nothing. Nothing there for you. Nothing there for you, opponent. We're coming at you full aggro. Full aggro. Lovely. Okay. Doot, doot. Here we go. Uh, play stomping ground. Entered tapped. So we've got two seers there as well to come down. Trigger with the hero. We are playing black and white. Orzov, so we've got to be careful of rafts. Um, but maybe not with the type of creatures that our opponent's playing, possibly. Um, right, hold on. Don't really want to be attacking him with that. Does give him a 2 2 zombie. But we've got to get it out of the way somehow. They're going to double block. Okay, that's cool for us. Uh, we'll just kill that. Okay. Play ourselves a seer token. Another one. So this is the game where we seem to be spamming. We are spamming. I suppose the opponent could still run rafts because if they got stuff that does stuff when they die, ah, oh, two of them, two of them, and another blimmin' land. All right. Come on, get your zombies then. Yep. Yep, yeah. okay. Killed, take two. Zombies, zombies. Another seer, spam another token. Good that we got the toughness of three on those. Oh, now it doesn't make a difference. We need removal, okay. And ba 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 I mean, we can give it first strike as well. Let's do that. We can still give it first strike. Attack with the three four. We gotta get these. We gotta get this stuff out of the way. We can spam loads of tokens here potentially. So we need to get some of these little death touches. Nothing coming at us. Okay. Very surprised by the block there. Uh, no block, sorry. Very surprised. Puts the pan down to eight now. 
Mentor of the Meek. Nice, nice card. What do we draw? Oh, that's nice. Right, lovely. Make that a 4-5. Trouble is we're going to trade off with the Death Touches, which is a bit of a problem. But we need to make room. We need to we need to keep attacking in. Okay. Right, okay. So yep. We'll be doing that. Um We'll be doing that. Okay. Is it me or is it strange blocks from our opponent? I'm not too sure. The blocks seem a little bit weird for us. I mean, I'm not sure what, obviously what they got in hand. They can obviously just keep respamming now. That is a problem. Okay, taking away our spammer potentially. But we still got Tajik. No, they're taking away Tajik. Okay, four life, leaving our spammer on there. I'm not worried about that at all. Oh, God. Right, get him down to three. There we go. We're not going to obviously attack with Hero. Come on. Come on. What they got? Oh, the Ravenous Chupacabra. They can draw cards as well. Right. Now we need something. But we've got opponent on three life. I'm thinking I want to bring in more of the, you know, the instant spell. Make them all indestructible. Let me know what you think. Whether we should maybe bring... Oh, my life. Well... This is what I said. Arena can just draw your cards like any other shuffler. And that just basically kills off Hero. So we need to draw. If we draw a Knight of Autumn, okay. Goes down, but it does get pumped up by that, right. We got a 4-4. Four, four. At the moment. 4-4. Four, four. Chupacabra. Mentor. Pony's oh, got four great cards in hand though. And they can make blockers as well with this. Oh dear me. Another cage. Wow the games are going rough today. The games are rough. Am I playing bad? I'm not too sure. Give us some creatures, please. Oh, we got one. Got we'll put it a bit of haste. Have we got out of it? Oh, ho -ho, we got out of it. Domri into Spellbreaker. Wow. See, sometimes you just need a bit of luck. So here we go for our last game of the day. Here at Precinct 1. Nice, nice. Keep this opponent goes first, though. Sarcastronaut. Okay, what do we want to do? We will play a Secret Foundry. Enter tapped. Come on. No red. Mm. Oh, type taker. Okay. Here, appreciate one. Come in. Justice Strike. Ready to deal with type taker. But it doesn't really affect us too much. We're not really doing much in our opponent's turn. Maybe it's always off control though, but playing a type taker. Could be a spamming token deck either. Well, the hero of Precinct 1 has stomped our opponent. No, maybe not. Come on, hero. We've got lots of lovely multicolored spells here to spam with the hero of Precinct 1. I've tried playing this in modern. Has anyone played Precinct 1 in modern? It's actually a pretty fun card because there's a lot of great multicolored spells. And I do think it's a pretty fun card. Yep. No blocks. Obviously, the two toughness is a bit susceptible. I would have preferred it as a 1 4. <laughs> um, right. Crag. Spam it. Come in. Haste. Start. The aggro. Oh, my word. Damn you. Damn you. It's okay. We've still got some good-ass creatures here. Midnight Reaper. Yep, we'll be killing that. We will be killing that. 
Um... Um, do we do that now? Yeah. Let's kill that. Result! All out attack. I'm going to keep that back. I nearly killed the Tive Taker there. I was literally hovering over the mouse. Um, what? Oh, that's Afterlife 2. That's Afterlife 2. Uh, right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, pay two life. Trustani. Pump up those creatures. Let's attack. Double block. And double block if you like. Okay, all right, all right, like it. Sacrifice, draw cards. Getting a little bit of damage. Boom. This looks like it could be a win, but barring a massive load of. Okay, attacking in. Oh, it's going to be a raff. I knew it was a raff. I knew it was a raff. I knew. I knew it was a raff. Right. Here we go. Here we go. Let's do this. Let's do this. Down to four. Tajik still to come in with haste as well. Hunted witness. Okay, we got the trample call. Okay, get your loads of tokens. Nice, nice. All right. Haste. Haste. And that is the win! What? That was what the aggro does. Yes. Save the best match till last. Well, there's the deck. Nice. I hope you really enjoyed it. It's such a, such a fun deck to play. It's real aggro. Hopefully it appeals to a lot of you. The Hero Priest one is fun to play. But if not, you're going in with loads of Ryan creatures. And pumping them with that little artifact certainly makes them big and strong. And the Gruul Spellbreaker are oh, one of my favourite cards from the set. Anyway, that's been another video. The next one will be out on Thursday. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the like. And if you can share the video, that is, well, that just means the world to me. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Take care, and I'll see you on Thursday.